Dion might be the blue guitar. It's super close. Yeah, really close. Hey, you were in good company. Mick Taylor from that pedal show yeah. was had the same guest like you. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know. That it seemed. Um, if I can comment, yes. uh, there's to me there is mm -hmm. still a little bit. Uh, quality I love about the Marshall. Yeah, it is. You know, it has a certain kind of sweetness, but on the other hand, it's like that close. You know. Yeah, I mean, and especially in the live situation, there's no way that you can yeah. tell the difference. And without an AB switch, I think it's also not possible. Yeah, that's re really, really impressive. This is really where impressive. I stop for now. You yeah, know, maybe yeah. in three years I do another one, which goes. But you know, this is one of my reference amps. Um, I didn't want to clone it 100%, uh -huh. you know, because I get like five or ten of these old plexis, uh -huh. and they are all different. Yeah. You know, so, some of them, they are a bit brighter, they have more gain, less gain, more bass and stuff. And this was like where I could get an authentic plexi tone. Yeah, so, yeah. And this was it, what I wanted. Well, you can't get much cost than that, I don't think. So, shall we have a look at the other things? Sure, in the sure. Okay. Okay, let's uh, let's hear the clean channel. Um. clean tone and it, it's making the sound a bit brighter in yeah. a way and, and has a bit more you know um, a twin character yeah, yeah. And a twin uh -huh. sound. and the other side on this uh, tone control is like more you know a tweet kind of uh, style clean tone I'm not touching the EQ yeah, here yeah, yeah, yeah. so so this is like a, a subtle change uh -huh. it, you know I didn't want to be this dramatic yeah I just wanted to have it's kind of like a voicing yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah. yeah. 
Right. And then uh, besides that, we have um, you know the overall tone control, yeah. which is uh, for all the channels. Uh -huh. And the reason for doing that is in a live situation. Yeah. Uh, if you want more trouble because of the room is like dull or whatever, you will affect all the trouble for all the channels. Yeah. So I thought that's cool. In the studio, you can dial in whatever. Uh -huh. So that's that's the idea here. Um, let's let's see how the boost page. Yeah. channels but on the clean channel you can see how it kind of breaks up uh, the clean tone yeah. you know like the crank yeah, yeah, amplifier yeah. type of awesome. thing. Yeah I, I can put it in the middle so it just doesn't do that much and make just a nice clean tone and then show you the, the reverb. Clean, you know, like I would use it that way. A little boost yeah. and some reverb, and yeah, yeah makes it great. Like a classic, nice clean tone that has some. Okay, we heard the, the, the vintage channel, but maybe I show you what happens on different settings. Yes, yeah, yeah, sure. We might start on uh, no boost, on uh, maybe a little bit reverb just for fun, and let's see how it sounds on a lower gain setting here. So, like this. Can you play? Yeah. Switch to vintage yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is kind of another version of the sound we heard before yeah. in the clean channel. So there's kind of a uh, like a range where both channels ha have similar gain. Yeah, so they like cross all the time. Yeah, so, and, but, but still, uh, you know, it, it reacts a little bit different. So, so, so the vintage channel is a bit more, it's a bit thinner. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, it comes from the overdrive side. Yeah. And the other one has more, it comes from the, from the clean side. Yeah. So I give it a bit more gain, sure. so you see what happens. Sounds solid, you know, solid. <laughs> more gain, yeah. uh, uh, even more on the same channel. personal tone too, yeah. so I think I'm pretty good at doing that, yeah. <laughs> because all my life I was aiming for, for that tone, you know, in, in whatever amp I've, I've been doing, uh, you know, in my past, uh, if it's my modified amps or, you know, whatever, this is the tone yeah. I was after, so 
So what are the classic in Mountain yeah. channels? Then? Okay, I bring the volume down a little bit without uh, the boosts. Um, there is, uh, by the way, the Vintage didn't have um, what I call a custom control tone yeah. because it's like the purest channel of, of them all. Yeah. Direct, and now the, the the clean has its character, or uh, what did we say? Um, um, voicing. The voicing. The, yeah, voicing um, control here. Mm -hmm. And the, the classic has a voicing control as well. So the classic tone goes from more mid rangey. Maybe yeah. we try that out. I give you gain, and yeah, can you play? Stacks. On the one side, the tone stack is the old school tone yeah. stack, and um, on the on the, the right side, if you crank it, it's the GCM 800 tone oh, stack. Okay. And I can blend between the two. Yeah. So internally, with like my little resistor and capacitor networks, which is like the same kind of schematic like this yeah. amp has, with just tiny little components, yeah. SMP components, I can have um, you know a setting um, with the old cool tone stack and another setting with you know the GCM 800 tone yeah, stack yeah. and this is one sound that's the other one and the good thing here is I can even blend between the two oh, nice. it's like having a plexi and a GCM 800 and blend between the two that's awesome yeah so that's that's the classic tone here I kind of like it in the middle where yeah. a, a, bit, a bit towards the, the plexi <laughs> at the end too, yeah. so to, to show you how much. Yeah, yeah. Low, low again, sure, let's try yeah. it. to vintage just for yes. a second. If you ask me what's the difference, I don't know if you see it. the the vintage has you know the sag, you yeah. know, like of of a, an old tube amp that has like a rectifier tube. Yeah, yeah. And and the classic is like yeah. more really stable, yeah. you know? And uh, there's a beauty in both, yeah. So that's why I, chose I always it. like that feeling when you do get that little sack, yeah, with the uh, like the JTM 45s and the, yeah, even the Dodge Reverb with the exactly. So, so, but but the classic, you know, is is also doing the cleanup thing, yeah, yeah, and which I find very very important. I I found it very handy to to use both channels on stage, like. Um, some songs you need to be more present. Yeah. You know, you need to cut through and 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 on other sections it's nicer to have this more subtle, uh, compressed uh -huh. and you know more alive sound. So I like them both. And, yeah. You know, there's some some hard rock players. Yeah. They love the, the classic yeah. more than anything else. Uh -huh. So it's, you know, if you have a Les Paul yeah. or you know ESP or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's the modern channel like? 
The model? Yes. Okay, let's start maybe on a lower gain setting here and ah, again, the modern channel has a, uh, a tone control which is actually dramatic. Yeah. On the one side, I try to be like Soldano-ish, yeah. uh, like sweet uh -huh. and, and full. And on the other side, it's like the total opposite. It's it's more like you know metal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be hard for me to fight stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm only on the vintage side yeah. myself too. Yeah. But it's not my type. Of um, thing. Yeah. Check check it out. Go. So that's that's the one side, and okay, maybe you play just something on the low string, so we see yeah. uh, and here with the um, uh, tone here. Side. Yeah, we personally don't use, but yeah. uh, it's doing the job. Um, it yeah. sounds phenomenal. Yeah. It really, really does. So that's um, the, the four channels and um, yeah, the side controls. There's a loop switch which uh, determines if the loop is parallel uh -huh. uh, or serial. And um, this was the noise gate, by the way. I was using when I did this yeah. the metal uh, position. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. Yeah, I mean the metal guys, they need this dry attack and dead quiet when yeah. they do the dampening. I mean for us, it's like soft and you will never lose a note yeah. and off means there is no yeah. gate. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I put the gate in, in, inside the amplifier is sim it's very simple. But the, you know, a gate is not a, a very expensive thing to do. Yeah. But the most critical thing is to find a good trigger signal. And inside the amp, I, I have two kind of signals. One is the, the guitar input, and no matter which channel there is, so if there's some little, little signal coming in yeah. here, it's one information. Okay. And the other information is like on the end of the preamp channels, yeah. which is totally different. And um, so I could like optimize the settings um, to, for the soft position. Yeah. Um, to be super sensitive, so I will, will never cut anything out or, you know, minimize yeah. that yeah. last tiny little bit. Of, yeah. So it makes sense to have a, um, a, a gate in the amp. Uh, if you have a separate pedal, it's, it, it requires a lot of tweaking and then you switch to another sound and it doesn't work anymore. Yeah. So, okay. Um, the noise, the, the amp itself is not so noisy. I mean, this is the hiss. Um, this is like when we played on the Marshall yeah. volume, and it's the same. Mm -hmm. When we did the AB, you know, there was not more noise. And this is now dead quiet. And if you go here... Yeah. It's yeah. Really, really cool. So, um, besides that, here the, the rear panel is quite simple. Oops. Um, guitar input. Then we have the effects loop, send and return. Yeah. There is a rec rock record out, so there's a speaker simulation ah, built okay. in. 
Yeah. And this is um, like analog speaker simulation. I mean, emulating speakers is a hard job. Yeah. And um, the M1 uses analog, which is like you have only one cabinet. Yeah. And it is pretty good. Um, I have another product called the Blue Box. Yeah. And this is kind of using um, IRs, uh, you know, the latest convolution mm -hmm. technology, blah, blah, blah. Um, and this gives you 16 cabinets. Ah, nice. And uh, this is all the way. And this is super good. Let's put it that So, way. What, what type of cabinet would that be quite? It, like it is old for by yeah, 12? Yeah, 4 by 12. Yeah. That, that's me. And yeah. uh, it is, it, it has everything. If it's too like too boomy for you, yeah. just get rid of some bass. Uh -huh. But it, for me, I, I thought this is, um, it's never good to have a, like a combo and try to make this sound big. Yeah. It's much easier to get like a 4 by 12 sounding more combo ish. Yeah. Um, so that's that's here, that's uh, that uh, speaker emulation. Yeah. Um, you can also use uh, headphones here, you know, if you want to practice at home quite. But headphones is not so pleasant. I, I, I prefer to listen to a real guitar speaker, yeah. even on lowest volume. Yeah, I know, I know exactly what you mean. Okay. Um, this, these are the two speaker arms. There is an 8 ohm and a 16 ohm speaker out. Um, depends on the cabinet. Yeah. Um, the amp is, is super solid, it, and, it, and due to its uh, special nanotube driven class D power amp section, blah blah blah, <laughs> um, it does not need to have a load. So you could play without a speaker connected yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and uh, just use the headphones, yeah. no problem. If you do that on you know the old school amps, they will simply blow up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which becomes a bit expensive. Yeah, just a little bit. And uh, so the final socket here is called foot switch on top, MIDI one here and remote one. Yeah. So this is like an intelligent socket for anything to control the amp. Yeah. And option one is a, a standard foot switch like this fellow here that gives you like two foot switches mm -hmm. and this will do clean overdrive and boost ah, okay. and uh, you would select which kind of overdrive channel you go yeah so that's one option that's really cool and um, actually there's another option i thought of i have these three internal foot switches yeah and i can program my favorite settings onto this foot oh, switch nice. so like Okay, my favorite clean tone is yeah. this, like clean and boost, reverb. So I would hit that button, press and hold, and when it's blinking, the next button I press will recall this sound later. Yeah. And then I have, for instance, like my vintage channel, no boost and maybe no reverb. Mm -hmm. Press and hold that button, wait for, for blinking, do it here, nice and, easy. and then, you know, classic with blah blah blah. Yeah. Press and hold. Okay, and then it is in this foot switch. Okay, how to recall it? Switch off, press and hold this button. And now this should be clean with boost. And there's your. Ah, sweet. Okay. Awesome. Third idea, and yeah. I am going very, very deep now, <laughs> is like, hmm, I got this foot switch and I got my three buttons here, but I got four channels. So I could use the three overdrive channels in here yeah. and use this to switch to clean ah, okay. and the second one will still toggle between boost and on and off. Oh nice. It's so versatile man. Yeah. Everything yeah. It's crazy. And um, and uh, here the, the other things is um, MIDI 1. It's an adapter that plugs into here and has a five pole MIDI socket yeah. mm -hmm. and the amp is intelligent. It will detect this adapter. Yeah. There's some electronics inside and then you have a MIDI in. Yeah. And you can do all the settings and recall them via a MIDI, yeah. which will then be on the switch. switch. Blah blah blah. So uh, yeah. And the third option is my remote one pedal yeah. port. Oops, maybe we have to show it in the in a picture. Yeah. Definitely. And and that is like um, a super easy to use big pedal board that has like ten switches for nine presets. And four bangs, which makes 32 presets, and it's super easy. Every button has a function for the M1, yeah. like channel boost, reverb, effects loop, second master volume, power soak, and you know all this, the stuff you want to dial in. Hit store, 
make this setting a preset and do a bunch of presets and that's it. That's awesome. Well, it's been a pleasure going through this stuff with you. It's really cool to meet you. Hey, and Harry. As always, I've been Harry. If you like the video, please check out some of the other videos on my channel. Go onto the Blue Guitar website and check out the amp, and I'll see you next time.